What's up guys? This is the Rofam and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. So to pick off where we left off, the Mughal garrison of Paramaribo is sallying and we have a fantastic opportunity to destroy them relatively cheaply. So this force under Pietro Castelli, they can destroy the garrison of Paramaribo and advance along the coast. I think this is probably their last turn where they can hold out. So let's annihilate them. Um, it's probably for the best we capture these territories because we are expanding significantly inside Europe but we're not actually producing the associated income with it. Um, some of that could be from looking at our distribution of churches. Some of them may not be necessary. I'm thinking specifically in more in France and France, Spain, Italy. We could build those into more industrial buildings. Um... But I digress. Let's check out our terrain. This is a fantastic little position up here. I'm gonna drop my gunners behind. Good. Let's pick up all of my line. Chiefly because A, lots of our forces are already depleted, and B, uh, we are on the defensive. So let's take advantage of that. Cavalry. Keep this cavalry um, in a safe position. Put my strong cavalry on the right. God damn. Some of these guys are going to get opened up on fast. God bless these men. Actually, let's go. Neat. Some good hits. Good. <laughs> Not as good as the quick line. So I'm doing that by hitting N on, well, hitting N on the keyboard. It does the little zoom in thing. It can cause your game to chug real bad. So it's probably best to uh, use it to do. Use it when the game is running well. So I don't know. They shouldn't be. They shouldn't get too. Uh, happy with running around in the open. I mean, they're welcome to. It means my gunners can get more experience. Great. So these gunners are in two chevrons, so their firepower is 81, accuracy 29, reloading 34. I imagine that large jump in firepower between these two units is the fact that one's got two guns and one's got three guns. But the gun, but my ex more experienced gun has two more accuracy two more reloading skill so they hit their targets more frequently and they uh, reload faster God, they got that guy I sat there watching to see if it actually bounced the shell in the open like that uh, looks like they're going to be silly and form a defensive line so I'm going to speed up time well they're going to form a defensive line but then they're going to um, push which is usually what happens so let's focus on focus my guys on to making a hole into the city some good hits on those men to the front okay where's my cavalry run my regiment of horse up to their line with an aim to provoke them to attack. Probably afford to lose some bowmen. Just to get a successful... We can probably afford to lose some cavalry just to get a successful charge off here. Because this is what the AI can do at times. Let's run my cavalry back home. Pick my howitzers to have a round shot. Run, cavalry, run! It's going to be a bit of a bummer when the, if the AI decides to do this instead of running really nicely into my, into my line. 
but just gun gun the cavalry. It looks like we've started the uh, pursuit that we always wanted to see. Eh, these chaps on the flank might be a bit tricky, considering they are um, actual musketmen. Nope, come on. Run your men home. I mean, to be honest, they've got no artillery, so we could just push. I don't want the cavalry. Get the cavalry to run out onto the flank. Get my gunners to engage. Some of my men have got caught on the barricades, so that might delay some of my units firing. It looks like they do want to bayonet charge us, which will not go super well. There we go. Some of our units are getting into position, so let's... Our glorious line. Hey, they are going to make it. Some of them are. Come on, how is this start dropping quick climb again? Just because quick climb is brilliant. Okay, now might be the time to do. It's my fusiliers, the 44th. Now they fired all their shots. That. That's the glorious 36th, with the troops behind them also firing their muskets. These poor souls. What chance do they have against all this rolling firepower? Oh, the microphone just fell over. There we go. Yeah, they were doing the right thing by get focusing my fusiliers. Field artillery engage the general. Deploy the cavalry. Focus my existing cavalry into the garrison musketmen. My general can continue the flank. Keep pushing up the line because the, the battle is never truly over. Those men are pouring fire, pouring fire into them. You guys keep chasing down the bowmen here, the musketmen are charging. The regiment of horse is winning decisively, and I might even send this line of infantry guard in there, just to make sure my men don't lose too the troops don't lose too many men. Stakili is not going to stand. They go. Garrison musket men are down. General's bodyguard is still kicking. Let's just run these up. This regiment of horse can charge straight in. My artillery switched to round shot and also engage the general's bodyguard. Same with my field artillery. Keep hitting them. It will likely not take that many artillery rounds for them to discover the error of their ways. Give me 
super helpful if they just walked out of the front gate towards us. Looks like they might do that by accident. But one of them will anyway. Let's get this cavalry out of the way. There we go, we've got our way in. And these men can now just pour fire into the gatehouse that does have... Okay, the general is coming out to play through the gate, so some good fire. The question is, who are they going to be focusing on? Looks like they don't really know. Generals made contact. Just keep focusing the artillery onto them. Because there's one elephant back here. Now let's speed up time. Chiefly because it's the general's bodyguard. He's going to break before we can kill him anyway. Yeah, there we go, there he goes. We're not interested in destroying them. Um, because we have no need to do so. Classic. Losing some men to some cheeky bow shots because they've decided they can... God, they've done a lot of damage to those men. Quick line, saw them off. There we go. Heroic victory. A bit frustrating we lost a bunch of men to those archers, but there we go. So we have won. We've lost, well, they lost 3,500 men, we lost 300. Ooh, okay. It's another weak army, but I can't retreat. Let's do it. Let's dig in again and let's mow them down again. So this is the garrison from the other city. Unfortunately we can't. I would like to have withdrawn to just get some uh, replenishment to make my troops um, a bit less delicate. But as it is, I don't think that's going to be a problem anyway. So let's form a battle line. Probably stand to stretch you out a bit more than that. Come on, there we go. Support, deploy our other gun team. Their, their other troops are going to enter the field. So I want to keep some men back as a bit of reserve. It's not going to be a great reserve, but take one. It's also, I'll also take a series of defences as well. So we've got a handful of infantry as reserves. It's not a bad. It's not a bad group really. Drop our howitzers down. Keep our cavalry close. Okay, so let's curve that flank up, let's take these two units and also deploy them, maybe facing these bowmen specifically. Strengthen that flank. Oop. I accidentally um, <laughs> minimised my screen by clicking on the other monitor. Howitzers keep clearing out their levy. The other artillery can carry on doing what they want to do. Uh, you guys fire at the general's bodyguard as he's head on. Okay. We can't hold this defensive line. We need to form a, a straighter line. Realistically. With maybe an element of troops on the flank to uh, envelop their forces.
deploy our cavalry. Come on, howitzers. There we go, another volley of howitzer fire. Doing some serious damage. These men I'm not massively concerned about. I want these men to have fire at will turned off until my infantry pass them. So you men can engage the bowmen at maximum range. Then you are able. are able both of those units are then able good charge our cavalry into the bowmen to try and take advantage of any routing that might happen from the volley fire they are wavering so this is a good chance which means you men can stop firing that force is shattered. Let's pull our cavalry back to get the fire at will going again. Let's switch this. These guys to canister shot. There we go. Now they've got more uh, a steadier line of muskets to charge towards here. There's a lot more envelopment, a lot more supporting fire across the board. And these guys can actually quite critical to maintain the structure of our line. Big routes here. Don't expect that will last. Just keep our howitzers firing. Let's get my general over here as well. Peel you guys back to get them a bit closer range to this canister shot. So the front is kind of split into two. You engage the bowman at point blank range. Broken, broken. There's another bowman to the south that looks like they want to continue. Quick lime's coming in, doing a lot of damage. They're trying another bayonet charge, but a lot of our guns are up and ready. Enough to push their their first wave back. So let's try hit their infantry in a more digestible chunk because these men can still fire at this block over here. These men are eager, but they're being cut down significantly. These gunners are going to be fighting for their lives. They're going to get charged by the bowmen. Fire the cannon! You missed! Charge those men in on the flank. Can you men face off against that unit? These guys turn. You guys pivot. Let's get these men over as well. Our gunners that are engaging. Let's try and pull them back. You men all charge into the last bowman unit. Let's get this other infantry over on the flank. So you men charge into the flank of the levy. We should get a bit upset about this development. Charge the grenadier guards in. The fusiliers can still form a line to face off against these bowmen. 
I get my grenadiers in, that'll be a good win. You guys open fire on that unit of bowmen, probably the same with my howitzers. Probably don't want my general engaging in this sort of but this sort of fight. E men charge them in the flank. Okay, these guys are broken, so let's redeploy. These the levy are fighting fusiliers, which are not great. The cavalry can continue, can continue to engage to tie them up. Let's get my general round shatter this unit of bowmen. So you guys can continue to engage that bowman force there. General's bodyguard is continuing their efforts. Those men charge the bowmen just to see them off. Let's march our men into a line once more. Hopefully we can make these troops break. Quick climbs coming in. Okay, hold on. Let's get, actually let's keep our general free of this problem. Good. Okay, so let's take our. Okay, these men stay forming a line. Stop any troops that are routing from coming back. It looks as though their levies are, are breaking. So let's take this unit to go chase down that unit of bowmen. This force that now has six cavalrymen can keep engaging. Let's turn our howitzer fire off. Actually, you can go chase these men because these guys are in good enough shape to... Uh, Form a defensive line should these guys um, feel better and come back. The men push up to keep pressuring the general's bodyguard. Same with you men, really. Help my last artillery unit. So these. Ah, these men are trying to come back, eh? Yeah, this unit of six cavalrymen that's full of six veterans, very good veterans, they can only kill so many men. So the objective is to begin to, to fell the general. Which means... Offensive, offensive, offensive. Yeah, that Takili did not last. There we go. Bulk of my infantry is in range to shoot this general off of his elephant, which we've just done. There goes the last general, or the first general, I should say. So here are the reinforcements coming in. Got some bowmen, some bowmen, and they've still got their general over there. So let's begin to march these men over here. Yep, just keep chasing them down. In most cases they aren't shattered. So if we keep nipping at their heels, they will uh, not form up. That's another levy unit. Okay, where's my howitzers now, actually? No, round shot puts them well out of range. Let's 
push up with my infantry aggressively and also begin running you guys even though you're very tired. Just run men up to put them in a position to square off against the bowmen otherwise it looks like they're probably going to continue to, f to uh, run to intercept our cavalry rather than our infantry which is what we'd rather them do. 38th are in position first. Make ready. Present. Yeah, they've got their bows. But we've got our guns. These levy are coming in. Bearing in mind these chaps are already depleted from the previous battle. Kind of overkill to send these amount of men to go kill their general, but they're not really going to be needed to fight their infantry. Realistically. Is this the last unit that's actually bar the general who's actually here to fight us? And they've opened fire, but it remains to be seen. Oh, they're going down. broken. The general up here will also fall to our musket fire. Yep, they're firing at range with their with their guns, but I do not think it will be enough to... Uh, there we go, the general's been killed. And they have broken. Good. Yeesh. <laughs> end the battle there because we fought two battles we killed both of the garrisons we could very much do with some replenishment because we are running very low on men we could probably demand the surrender of paramaribo now which would be perfect we have a rake in spain so let's take the rake and send him to Warsaw, I think. So in terms of construction, except we're still converting Scotland, although Scotland does not have a religious problem now, so it's tempting to let's move our priest to the centre. Ooh, Galway, let's get a craft workshop. Let's upgrade one of these ports. First, let's hop over to the Americas, because that's where oh good, the territory is ours. So we can replenish, probably not with another good unit of infantry, but we know we've got a whole lot of levy coming our way. So uh, probably smart to uh, pick up some reinforcements from Cuba, as well as maybe more nearby institutions. We're likely to get counter-assaulted. Let's go back to Europe. Let's continue some of the replenishment here at Bohemia. This army's damn near finished replenishing. Let's build this unit. Let's build this region into a church school. So we need to start converting in Europe. Yeah, we did take Copenhagen, so let's repair. Let's take our army and just kill that force that's sat outside. <laughs> Let us replenish our men. Let us destroy the university, because that's going to be a... That, that will fix our um, clamour for reform problem. We do have this force that's ready to move up and intercept those Spaniards, but we also have this force here attacking Brussels, which will not bring in a reinforcing army. So I think this is probably the right call. We take Brussels with this first force, with Vito Spero. This force in, that's in good condition can probably attack 
these forces that might join them in a battle, they'll fall back. This army Pronti. is in range to take to hit Cologne as well. We do have some raiders, but that's not a it's not a realistic problem. I might just go ahead and let's get ready to pick up some start building a another force specifically geared towards chasing down raiding armies. So let's probably get some Regiment of Horse and Hussar unit. Let's go Cavalry Heavy. And then probably get some howitzers. Because they might be frustrating, but they're not. These aren't strategy changing troop deployments. Um, I think that's probably the call. Maybe this army takes Brussels. This army pushes to engage definitely this army that might pull these in as reinforcements but once that's been fought the army that's at Brussels will push up to go take Amsterdam and then we've really got Sweden we've got their balls and their vice but let's go back to Vito Spero the western push has begun so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the capture of Brussels Cheers, everyone. This is a front line that's been static for like 60 episodes. Or something crazy like that. <laughs> Radio. Cheers, everyone.